of Chirp, Honey Hills. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. Ah. Mm. ah, it's your first time here. In that case, I'll show you around. By the way, I'm Chirp, Detective Chirp. Well, not quite detective. Ah, it's like this. I'm not quite a detective yet. I'm a detective's assistant. I take photos of crime scenes. And I take them to Sophie. Sophie's a real detective. She's so smart and logical. She can solve crimes without leaving her home. It's not very exciting here. Honey Hills is a quiet town. Nothing unusual ever happens here. The weather is always perfect because it's controlled by an ancient magical artifact, the Golden Beehive. It's almost always kept in a secure vault. Except for once a year, when they take it out and parade it through town. And the next day, there's a ceremony where they charge the Golden Beehive with sunlight. And then the Beehive releases sunlight for the entire following year. The town detective guards the beehive all night before the ceremony. And that job always goes to Sophie. But this year will be different. I'll show everyone what a great detective I am. And then I'll get the job of guarding the beehive. Come along it's the golden to... beehive ceremony. Woohoo! A ceremony! Let's uh, go! The mayor himself invited us! You dummy, the ceremony is two days away. This is just an announcement. Yahoo! Stop making that shh sound. That's not the cellular sound sounds like. Also, I think you'd better stop your pursuit of the jetpack right away. What do you mean? But then the suspect will get away! Last seen 
running over the cornfields. Psh. What now? Well, okay, Chirp. So then why don't we do some real detective work now? All right. Let us stop and think. Ah. Let's see. The suspect is running low on fuel. He doesn't have enough to get out of town, but he can probably get to the harbor. And we'll be there to meet him. The suspect's going to try to escape on the ferry. Hey. Copy that, HQ! To the harbor! <laughs> Sophie, I'm at the harbor, but nobody's here. Looks like you were wrong. Sure, mm -hmm. please take it easy. Let's slow down and think for a second. Hmm? Slow down? We can't slow down. Detective, this is a chase. Surveillance. Super villain. Crime of the century! Chirp, will you please get your camera out? Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Give yourself up, villain! My camera is ready to Oh, you. Chirp. Just stay right there with your camera at the ready. That's him. Whoa! What do I do now? Stay still and wait for my command. What? Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, now. I know where he went. That's Hooba Dooba. <gasps> no way, really? So that's what he looks like? Nobody knows what he looks like. Hooba Dooba's locked inside. Oh. Keep walking, please. Your cell's next. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Wow, that's high tech. Who built this prison? Elon Husk? Mm. 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 Oh, too bad. You'll have to let me go. I can't take the jetpack off. The fastener's stuck. Mm -hmm. oh. Mm. Oh, where's my popcorn? Get over here. Oh, the old tickles. Stop it, Chief. Torturing prisoners is against the law. Get it on, stuck. <laughs> Stay still for a second. Well, stop Ow. fidgeting. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Now get in your cell. Quiet down, everyone. Are you bored doing the same thing every year? Uh-huh. Are hot air balloon rides not exciting anymore? Uh, then I've got great news for you. Oh? In honor of this year's Golden Beehive Ceremony, I have designed a jetpack. <laughs> the first flight is free of charge. Now I'll never get to fly that jetpack. Cheer up. You can go up in the balloon like you always do. Didn't I do great at catching that bat? He's yeah. a rat. Was like, oh, you didn't do great. And then I was like, I ah! had an ambush plan. And then he was shoo! <laughs> but you decided to chase him all over town and almost let him get away. <sighs> but he didn't 
get away, and that qualifies me for the title of town detective. There you go again. Chirp, you know that it's the mayor who chooses the town detective, and I can only delegate my duty in, in the, the event, event of, of an, an unforeseen, unforeseen emergency. emergency. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> we have a victim of a crime! <clears throat> and what's your unforeseen emergency? Um, tea? Huh? Tea. I already have a hypothesis. Uh, uh, the perpetrator uh, is a seasoned uh, thief who goes by the name of Teabag. Hmm, that kind of looks like our mayor. Okay, but then you have your first suspect, don't you? I'll guard the golden beehive while you solve this case. <laughs> there is no case to solve. Huh? Hmm. Let me introduce you to my new butler, Carl. Tea? Uh. drink on the job. Uh, I don't see why I should be guarding the golden beehive. When it's taken from the vault to the museum, the entire town joins the parade. And the museum is equipped with a laser alarm system. Uh, but if something happens and the beehive doesn't get charged with the last rays of the setting sun, we'll get thunderstorms! The tornadoes! Eternal darkness will swallow Honey Hill. Huh? 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 Chirp, our good weather has nothing to do with the golden beehive. It's just a myth. And charging it on the day of the summer equinox is just a town tradition. Hi. Sophie, watch out! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hmm. Have you seen our boomerang anywhere? Thank huh? you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> hmm? I win. You lose this time. <laughs> Look closer, Chirp. Huh? If I lost this game, I lost it to myself. Isn't that my piece? Oh, oh it's a chameleon. A color-changing piece. It just looks like one of yours, but it's actually mine. <laughs> you certainly have no lack of imagination. Make me detective then! You can't imagine what could possibly happen! But I can! Let's see! Mass hypnosis! Rise of the machines! Alien invasion! Contagious! Tickling! Have you been staying up watching scary TV? Uh -huh. <sighs> huh? Chirp and Sophie's detective agency! <clears throat> oh, the detective agency of Sophie! Good afternoon, Walter. No, Sophie, that's not a good afternoon. We need your help urgently. Who but to escape? Sorry, Walter, there must be a bad connection. Did you just say the most dangerous criminal we've ever faced has escaped the most secure prison we've ever built? Yes, oh. that's right. And now we need your help. I sent a helicopter to pick you up. Uh. <laughs> <sighs> Sophie, do we have a description? The what does Hooba Dooba look like? I'm sorry, Chirp, nobody really knows. Mm -hmm. How is that possible? Hooba Dooba is one of the most mysterious criminals in history. All we know about him is probably just myth and legend. He appeared out of nowhere and instantly became notorious. Hooba Dooba could steal absolutely anything of value. Paintings, money, relics. He once even stole a statue of Beaver the Great. Although it really wasn't much of a crime. Nobody liked that statue anyway. The most incredible thing is, even to this day, nobody can actually say what Hooba Dooba looks like. Wow. So, how was he caught? It was a long time ago. All that I really know is... He was caught here in Honey Hills. I was just a detective's oh. assistant then, and I didn't take part in the arrest. And then, the whole case was made secret. Oh. Tell Aunt Lucy that 
I'm going to the prison! Chirp, where do you think you're going? With you to catch the supervillain. Huh? <sighs> Chirp, while I'm away hunting the supervillain, I need you to stay here and look uh -huh. after Honey Hills. But nothing ever happens here. But there's a supervillain on the loose. You never know. Something could happen here, too. Huh. Hmm. Pursuit, surveillance, villains, crime of the century. I'm putting you in charge. <gasps> and I need you to stay in Honey Hills as town <gasps> detective chirp. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> works. Hmm. Huh? Huh. Psh, psh. HQ, this is town detective Chirp. All good here. The golden beehive is... It's gone! Attention! All units, block all roads, the airport, and, and the school swimming pool! Your golden beehive is here. Go! Carl, how did you get past me? Well, I didn't want to distract you. Chirp, <laughs> <laughs> we need your help. Oh. We need to get it back. Mm -hmm. Town Detective Chirp at your service. Tell me what happened. Uh. From the very beginning. We were born on the 6th of June. From the beginning of the crime. <laughs> We were playing outside and... Who do you mean by we? Be specific. Well, Vic and I were playing outside. Playing what? Hide and seek? Tag your in? Car chase? Squid game? The floor is a lot. <gasps> no, we were playing with our boomerang. And then it was taken from us. Oh, who took it? Was it a gang of robbers? Can you describe the leader? Come on, speak freely. I'll enroll you in a witness protection program. Eric, your huh? new identity will be Quack Quack, Samuel the Duckling. <laughs> And huh? you, Vic, will hide somewhere in the elephant water park. In the <gasps> ticket booth! Chirp, it was your Aunt Lucy who took our boomerang. Huh? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Where could it be? Hmm. <laughs> Mom, we're out to play! Just don't play with the boomerang. That could be dangerous. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, where's my watering can? There it is. It came back again. How does it work? Is there some kind of autopilot inside? You think there's autopilot huh? in an ancient thing? I bet it uses Wi-Fi. Hmm. It didn't come back. Definitely <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> Oh! Huh? Huh? Hey, Aunt Lucy! Huh? So it was you! Which one of you naughty kids threw this coat hanger? Aunt Lucy, it's not a coat hanger, it's a boomerang. An ancient Australian hunting <laughs> weapon! <gasps> this is terrible! The Honey Hills kids are playing with weapons now? That's it? I'm confiscating it! Huh? Huh? When will you give it back? When you two grow up. <laughs> And? Well, we've grown up a little. Hey. Go get our boomerang from your aunt. 
Police chirp. <clears throat> oh, town detective chirp. I can't be going anywhere. I need to be guarding the golden beehive. But it's still in the vault, isn't it? Well? Uh, what if enemies are planning an ambush? I know, I'm going to patrol the streets. What? Chirp. Huh? Will you stop by your Aunt Lucy's? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> if it's that important, huh? I'll stop by and I'll talk to Aunt Lucy. All right. <laughs> After the ceremony. like a real detective now. I am a real detective. Sophie personally appointed me. And since I got a raise, the detective's assistant position is now vacant. Hmm? Mm, this is saliva. Mm -hmm. He must have reached and grabbed the key with his tongue. With his tongue? Why did the door close all by itself? Not by itself. It closed because the electronic lock took a scan of my snout. Hmm? Would it be possible to have a list of all the, um, well, snouts that have permission to open this lock? That list doesn't exist. Only I can unlock this door. Well, apparently you're wrong. Where exactly are we going? Phil, we're not going anywhere. Huh? Aren't you going to the stand, like Mommy? Yes, of course I'll be there. We're patrolling. I see. And where are we patrolling? The correct question should be why? So that nothing bad happens. <laughs> but nothing bad ever happens here. That means we're good at patrolling. Can we patrol over to Nick's restaurant? <gasps> but you've just eaten, Phil. This is not about food. <laughs> oh. Uh. Uh. Today's the presentation of Oh Honey. In Oh What? A presentation. Presentation of what? Oh Honey. <laughs> It's this new super delicious honey, and it can be hardened and shaped into anything you want. Come on, honey. Let's go before they run out of free samples. Phil, you know all about Oh Honey already. Why go to the presentation? To get a new sample. So, what is the first thing that you think of when you hear the name Honey Hills? An awesome mayor. Huh? 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 <clears throat> uh, you think of honey, of course. Huh? This isn't bee hills or flower hills. This is honey hills. There's your presentation. So, Phil, can we get back to patrolling now? Wait, it's only just starting. Oh, it's already boring. Chirp, let me listen. Fine. <laughs> Can we make honey more honey some? Many thought this was impossible, but while they were thinking, I was doing. 
and I did it. Allow me to present to you... Oh, honey! Huh? Huh? <laughs> you wanted to watch the presentation. We're late. What do you mean? He only just announced Oh Honey. And there's already none left. And what makes you say that? My nose. I can smell ordinary honey from a hundred meters mm. and Oh Honey from a kilometer away. Huh? And I can smell a crime happening somewhere else while we're wasting time here. Someone stole Oh Honey! <laughs> what I tell I told you. you so. I have footage from Huba Duba's cell. Go and play it, Walter. Then let's see who organized Huba Duba's escape from prison. <sighs> oh, but that's incredible. The storeroom was locked, and I was the only one here. That's just great. Nobody saw who did it. <laughs> Chirp. How will you find the thief if nobody even saw him? <gasps> Eureka! Huh? I know who stole Oh Honey! But I didn't do it. That's not me. I don't understand. Walter, I'm sure it wasn't you who let Hoobadooba out. Here, take a sedative to calm down. I'll analyze Hoobadooba's file and we'll get everything sorted out. What's your password, Walt? <laughs> Ah, uh, looks like I'll have to guess the password. What should I start with? Let's start with the witnesses. But there are no witnesses. Precisely! Since no one saw who stole Oh Honey, I was able to conclude that the thief is... Invisible! What? Yeah, I thought so. Ah, uh, invisible thief, sure! That explains it. Forget that idea. We're going to find out who did it. Yeah, how so? From the security camera footage, of course. Wrong again. In order to guess Walter's password, I need to think like him. <laughs> Walter. Bingo. What exactly is that? That's just pure luck. When I made the cameras for the museum, I had tested one here, and it still works! Once we find out who stole oh Honey, we'll know who to punish. Mm -hmm. huh. What? There's your invisible thief. Oh. This is confusing. How is that possible? Hoobadooba's file has no actual photos of him. But why is that? Oh! The footage has been intentionally blurred because it shows other animals who are actually innocent of the crime depicted. Oh. Hmm. Other animals that were innocent of the crime. <gasps> oh. What's wrong with Walter's eyes right there? It's a glitch. The video footage is fake. That's why nobody really knows what Hoobadooba looks like. He replaces images of himself with images of others. So that would mean Hoobadooba's a hacker. Speak up, detective. Hmm? Uh, hello. According to our investigation, mm -hmm. Oh Honey mm -hmm. is... Oh Honey was stolen by... Hmm? 
I officially announced that Oh Honey was not stolen, but just borrowed by Mary. Me? Yeah. Our mom didn't do it. You're all being liars. I've never taken anything that doesn't belong to me. <sighs> Give me that. Huh. Goodness me! the power vested in me by me I have no choice but to put you under house arrest <gasps> oh, oh no hmm? oh chirp uh, yeah Figure out where Hoopa Dooba could have gone with the hiding. <gasps> oh, what's this footage? trying to steal the golden beehive before. <gasps> and he's gonna try to steal it once again. I'm now standing in a high security vault where the golden beehive is kept 364 days a year. Right now, our specialists are preparing to transport it. They are true professionals and- huh? You idiots! Uh, you put uh, the beehive upside down! Wow, it has an Everything upside? Does. Even you. Your stupid head is your upside. He always has his phone on him. Why is he not answering now? Hypothesis about an invisible thief, but the security camera footage showed that it was actually Mary. <gasps> it wasn't Mary. Huh? The footage has most likely been faked. That is just like Hooba Tuba. Hooba Tuba is in Honey Hills. <laughs> huh? How Detective Chirp will deal with him. <laughs> no, Chirp, that's too dangerous. <laughs> oh, the line is breaking up. I'll call you back later. That's so childish. Sorry, Chirp, but I can't let you deal with a supervillain all on your own.
won't believe this. The supervillain Hooba Dooba has escaped from a super secure prison. Huh? He's now in Honey Hills, and I'm gonna catch him. So then you won't be looking for Oh Honey? Could you ask Mary where she hid it? Mary didn't steal it. Huh? <laughs> Sophie said she's sure it was Hooba Dooba. Uh, we need to go looking for Oh Honey then, or else he'll eat all of it. You're right! If we find Oh Honey, we'll also find Hooba Dooba! Mm -hmm. Okay, here's our plan of action. We'll outline the search process, then catalog the evidence. We'll have to make reports, take fingerprints, cordon off the search area, and interrogate Mary. Hmm? Let's do all of that later. I can take you to where Oh Honey is hidden. Huh? Route is calculated. Huh? In 30 meters, turn left. <laughs> Walter, could you please let me out now? Walter, Walter. Oh. Mm. <laughs> your destination. Phil, why did you bring me here? We're looking for Oh Honey, not Oh Sophie's house. I was following the scent trail. What was it that you were following? I was following your directions. Are you trying to say that it was Sophie who stole Oh Honey? Ah, she's not even in town. <laughs> Hello there, Chirp. Due to some new... Unforeseen circumstances, I've been detained. Don't worry, Sophie. I'll catch who would do well myself. No, Chirp, please don't go and play hero. Just tell the mayor that Hooba Dooba is no doubt going to try to steal the golden beehive. Hey, uh, did you find out what Hooba Dooba looks like? All I figured out is that she has a very long tongue. Oh. That's a really great lead. A long one. Chirp, relay all this information to the mayor as soon as possible. The scent is stronger right over here. Not now, Phil. Huh? Who would do what wants to steal the golden beehive? Uh, Let's go. To the mayor? Nah, we'll manage by ourselves. I now have a solid lead. Uh, Are you coming or not? No. Listen here, Phil. We're looking for someone with a long tongue. We must act stealthily so as not to attract unwanted attention. Hello. Could you please stick out your tongue? Excuse me? It's for a picture. Say, blech. Anywhere. 
matter with this? <laughs> the beehive is in the museum. Where's Hooba Dooba? Probably munching on O'Honey as we speak. <laughs> Tomorrow morning, the museum will be open to the public, so everyone should come out and see the Golden Beehive before the evening ceremony. I'm now going to turn the Golden Beehive over to the town detective's protection. Let's all give her a warm welcome. Sophie, 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 Sophie. Sophie, Sophie, Sophie. Huh? <laughs> it's you again? Where's Sophie? She's still out of town. I'm covering for her. Uh, fine. I mean, it's purely a ceremonial role anyway. <clears throat> Surprise! Let me introduce this year's town detective! Yay! All right. Huh? Hi, everyone. <sighs> Thank you all, and I'll see you tomorrow night at the ceremony. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah. uh, 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 chirp. 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 Our town's pride and joy, one of a kind, precious, no, a true treasure. Don't worry, Chirp. The alarm works like a charm. <laughs> if one of the laser beams is interrupted... Uh, 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 step aside. Uh, hmm. Come on. The security guards will be here moments later. Yeah! So keep your paws to yourself, mm -hmm. sit here quietly, and don't fall asleep! Uh, but what if I see something suspicious? I'll be very surprised if you do. Uh. Huh? And just where do you think you're going, oh. kid? Uh. The museum is closed. Come back tomorrow to see the beehive. Is Chirp still inside? The town detective will be guarding the golden beehive all night. I'm the town detective's assistant. Really? And who gave you all these positions? I didn't sanction any new appointments. <sighs> ah, okay, fine. You can stand guard. But you can't go in. <laughs> hey, today's trips are canceled. Yeah. Hoobadooba, you're under arrest. I give up, you win. <laughs> I shouldn't have doubted you, Chirp. You're the best detective there is. 
I knew that. What happened? Nothing. I was just sitting here and the alarm went off all by itself. <laughs> but I'm the town detective. You're really a pain in the tail for waking up the hard-working townsfolk. <laughs> I wish Sophie head. was here. I'm just falling asleep. I'm gonna continue guarding the golden beehive anyway. I'm awake. Shh, be quiet. We have a suspect. Huh? Are you suspecting the TV antenna of something? Oh. I thought I saw somebody. You distracted me. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, what now? Get out of the call alarm. <laughs> sure. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I have had enough of this. Disable the alarm. <laughs> Mayor, I really think we should turn it back on. I mean, what if something... Nothing will happen. I want to get some sleep. The alarm is clearly malfunctioning. Oh. I was the first one to think that the alarm goes off all by itself. I knew I was right. I'm on my way. have happened on my watch. You failed us, <laughs> town detective. What has happened is terrible. Don't you worry, Mayor. I already know who is behind this crime. <laughs> I downloaded the security footage. Well, well, well. Looks familiar, doesn't he? Now I understand why you already know who did it. Guards, come here! It wasn't me. It was who would do my... <laughs> The footage is fake! Oh, Sophie! Huh? 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 Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Huh? Hmm? Where have you been? Are you hungry? Don't speak! I just bought hmm. some snacks. Here, have some. <laughs> Chuck, wait! At least have a banana. Hmm. Oh, will you give it to him, please? Thanks! You guys are the best! I was planning to redecorate anyway. The golden beehive's been stolen. How awful! So that's why the weather's changing. Oh, dang it. Can give it back. Shockingly, it was stolen by the town detective, a squirrel by the name of Chirp. Oh no, Chirp. I'm hiding in your garden. They're looking for me. And for hitting me, too. I'm your assistant. You don't need to hide. It was all my fault. I should have told the mayor about Hoobadooba's plan right away. Well, how about you go tell him now? He won't believe me. I have no proof. <laughs> I can't solve this without Sophie. But you have to solve this crime and get the golden beehive back. Huh? You're the town detective. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You're right. This crime called for some real detective work. Mm. Mm. I had no idea that thinking could be such hard work, Phil. I bet. You're solving three crimes all at once. Three? <gasps> Seize Chirp! He stole the golden beehive! I officially announced that Ohoney was not stolen, but just borrowed by Mary. Chirp, it was your Aunt Lucy Why who took our boomerang. <laughs> I got it! Who 
Koopa Doopa is not a hacker! Huh? Breaking news! We have the shocking footage of how the golden beehive was stolen! Spooky TV presents... Oh, Hooba Dooba. We now also know that Chirp gained access to the museum thanks in part to the patronage of our celebrity detective, Sophie. Ah, I see. So he's your apprentice. Now I know who taught him to steal. <clears throat> no, 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 no need to bolt your eyes at me. I've seen scarier eyes than yours. They were like that. <gasps> who had eyes that looked like no, that? It was one of the fairy passengers we had the other day. What's wrong with Walter's eyes right there? It's a glitch. The video footage is fake. So that would mean Hooba Dooba's a hacker. Oh. I got it wrong. Sophie got it wrong. Hooba Dooba doesn't meddle with camera footage. Huh? The Hedgehog twins, they saw him with their very own eyes. And that means? <laughs> He wears a mask to pretend to be someone else. You're so clever. I'll tell the mayor about it. And together we'll catch Hooba Dooba. Hurrah! Chirp, our awesome town detective. <laughs> Jokes aside, please return the golden beehive. But I beehive. didn't steal it. It was Hooba Dooba. I have proof. You can't trick me. I'm not uh, dumb. Uh, I saw it with my own eyes. It was you. Give yourself up, because if you don't, I'll find and punish you. Yeah. Uh, chirp, why? So they can't track me down. <sighs> I guess we'll have to catch Hooba Dooba ourselves. But how? We don't know where he is. Mm. But we do know what he smells like. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> This is really bad. I need to get back home right now. Oh, urgently, huh? Why don't you just swim into the tornado and it'll fly you to Honey Hills? Hmm? What did you just say? I said, the tornado will fly you to Honey Hills. Thank you for the idea. She's a wacky one, this lady. Hey, she took my phone! reached our destination? I can sense that it's in there. Let's go in, and then we'll call for backup. We're wanted by the police. No one will help us. <sighs> I'll go inside. While you find my scooter, we might have to chase Hooba Dooba, or maybe even flee. You won't have to. <clears throat> Seize them. <clears throat> Ah! <laughs> 
just pick up the phone. But it wasn't me! It was Hoobadooba! And now he's hiding in this basement! The security camera footage proved beyond a doubt that it was you! He commits his crimes using masks! <laughs> Here's what actually happened. Hoobadooba escaped from prison, and he came to Honey Hills on a ferry! He took Eric and Vic's boomerang, posing as Aunt Lucy. Then he stole Oh Honey, posing as Mary. Hooba Dooba used it to make a super durable blade, cut a hole in the museum's bulletproof window, and started throwing the boomerang inside. That's what triggered the alarm. You thought the alarm was broken, so you disabled it. At that point, Hooba Dooba was already inside the museum. I now remember seeing three guards run in, but only two came out. Hooba Dooba was posing as the third guard. Uh, all right. Huh? Sophie has confirmed your alibi. I'm sorry, I should have warned you right away. Yes, you should have. Guards, we'll be arresting mm -hmm. Hooba Dooba. Prepare to storm the basement. <laughs> Carl? You have to help me. Oh. Yeah. Hooba Dooba took me hostage, but I managed to escape. He's down there in the basement. Take the victim into the house. <laughs> now that the hostage is freed, storm the basement. <laughs> Huh? He's wearing a mask. That was not a mask. How many butlers does Sophie have? Just one. She only hired him recently. Are you sure that's him? Mm -hmm. Carl, how did you end up in the basement? What do you want from me? I don't even know you. Uh, I'm Chirp. Don't you remember me? All I remember is on my very first day working for Miss Sophie, someone crept up behind me and knocked me out. Oh. That means the first Carl was... <gasps> <laughs> We're too late. Chase him down! Let's do it, Phil! Yeah! We need to find a vehicle of some sort fast! Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 
this game to yourself. <laughs> if I lost this game, I lost it to myself. It's a color-changing piece, a chameleon. <gasps> I figured out your secret, Hooba Dooba. Hmm? You are a chameleon. Hmm? Nobody knows that. <gasps> and nobody ever will. <sighs> It's me. Sophie doesn't know how to fly a jetpack. Precisely. So don't distract me and hold on to the beehive. Huh? went on schedule. The weather has improved, but tell us, where is the stolen golden beehive? It wasn't stolen, it's currently in a safe place. Where exactly? <laughs> right here! Under the town detective's protection! Yeah, we made a good chirp! <laughs> you are here! Nice job, chirp! 
Jim! He gets it every Phew. time. You're alive! Look what I got! You're our hero! Nice Jim. job, Jim! <laughs> Sophie, I'm returning your badge. Keep it. Hmm? It's yours now. Uh. Detective Chirp. next. Sophie returned the jetpack to Nick, and everyone had a chance to fly it. Well, almost everyone. Nick fixed the old honey dispenser, and Phil got a big surprise. A statue of him made of old honey for his help in saving the town. Unfortunately, one of the statue's arms went missing the next day. Apologized to Mary for false accusations, and now he's making it up to her by helping her in the garden. He now enjoys gardening more than he ever enjoyed blogging. The hedgehog twins never found their boomerang. Luckily, we were able to find a great replacement for it. I got to know Carl, the real Carl. Turns out he's a lot of fun. <laughs> Sophie is learning to ride a scooter. I'm coaching her, of course. She says that driving the ferry was a lot easier. As for me, I'm learning how to think like a detective. I haven't mastered it yet, but I'm making good progress. I must say, this whole story made me realize that I was wrong about what detective work was all about. Pursuit and surveillance are really only a part of it. But the main idea is to think before taking action, because every action has consequences we're responsible for. With that new realization, I can still say without a doubt, I love being a detective! <laughs>